All right, let's take a look at what's going on in Jupiter right now as we check out plenty of sunshine, waves rolling on in, about two to four foot seas coming in along the Palm Beach County coast right now. Got some rainfall up to our northwest here in the Panhandle of Florida and through parts of Alabama and southwestern Georgia. Uh, we've also got some rainfall down here in the Florida Keys streaming along from east to west. In our area, we are pretty much rain free at the moment, but we do have a slight chance for a few showers sweeping on in later on today. Temperatures right now 84 degrees St. Lucie Village, 83 around Collins Park Estates, 86 Okeechobee, 87 in Belle Glade. Oof, steamy out there. 83 High Biloxi, 85 in Boca right now, and West Palm coming in at 84 degrees. So on this particular map, it's kind of a combination of two fronts. There's a weak cold front moving through today and a secondary front pushing through tomorrow. Both of those will help usher in some slight chances for rain, but also some slightly cooler and drier air on the way in. So starting tomorrow, we're going to see temperatures much closer to average during the day and much cooler overnight temperatures. Then we get our next cold front that sweeps on in as we get to Friday. It starts in North Florida on Thursday, but works its way south in our area on Friday. No real chances for rain along with this, but you see these darker colors and blues and greens moving down into North Florida and into our area. That is cooler air headed our way for later in the week. Let's talk a little bit about what's going on in the tropics right now. Tropical wave moving over toward the Western Caribbean. The latest update just coming out from the National Hurricane Center. It now has a 90% chance for development, and we've been talking about this for several days now. Almost every single computer model has at least a tropical depression developing here in the Caribbean as we get to the end of the week and the weekend. The movement is expected to be somewhat northwestward. Some models have this coming in toward the west coast of Florida, up toward Louisiana. Louisiana or even across Cuba. This is just the latest models coming in right now. There's plenty of time for these models to shift a little bit, but they do show a curve near the Yucatan and the potential curve up into the northeastern or eastern parts of the Gulf of Mexico. So it's certainly something we're keeping our eyes on as we head, especially into the end of the week, into the weekend and the beginning of next week. Any impact would be about midweek next week. Uh, here's a look at the beach and boating forecast. High risk for rip currents along area beaches right now. We've got winds increasing and a fast shower or two possible today. Then tonight, temperatures in the 70s and a lot of low 70s along the Treasure Coast and inland, breezier along the coast than around the lake. Gusty winds as we get into tomorrow and cooler to average temperatures, which are in the low 80s this time of year. So that's what we'll start to see tomorrow. And then starting tomorrow night, temperatures 60s and low 70s and then just flat out 60s all the way through Thursday night into the weekend. We could see some 50s around Lake Okeechobee, upper 50s as we get to the end of the week and the weekend for overnight lows. High temperatures much closer to average, especially Saturday, Sunday, and Monday of next week. That's a look at your forecast.